Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, create uh, uh, templates for certificates. Maybe this is the way you're going to come up with your posters at one time. So direct to the point, you're going to come to design. I want us to resize the size of the of the template here. So we're going to come to slide size. Then you come to custom. So I want this to be an A4, A4 size. I'm going to ask you to click here, A4. Then you leave it at landscape, or even you can make it portrait. Then you click OK, and then ensure it. So it's going to change to the sample to look like a, an A4, but in a landscape manner. So I'll need you to insert a, to insert a, a shape. Maybe that. Yeah, you can start with that. So we need to uh, format this shape to look like a, in a 3D format. This is just a template you're trying to, to come up with. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right there. So what we need now is to change the shape. Uh, the shape of the uh, I mean the color the color you can put maybe yellow and then uh, no outline so you're gonna need to duplicate this control D you move it aside and then you shorten it to make it more more smaller bring it here to be on them to be like parallel move it aside in a way it's from the correct angle I want this to be almost the same size. So I'll need now to turn this around in a 3D rotation. So I'll click on it, then format, then here. This arrow here is gonna bring us here. Click on this middle middle button. It's going to bring to 3D rotation. Now you change the Y, the Y rotation put a figure 180, I want it to rotate at a 180 angle as you can see it has rotated so you just need to move it closer just this way towards the slide that way then you can make it a bit inward that way so you send it to the back send it to the back that's the thing and then you duplicate these two again and then you make it shorter but still it should be parallel to this one here so this day maybe you can change the color for it to be more clear maybe put blue thank you and then you bring it side this way yeah yeah that way you know i think they're almost the same size and then you place it maybe somewhere there mm -hmm. maybe there yeah maybe i need to pull it out uh, in a way then you'll need to insert now uh, a rectangle and that's going to cover just to hide some part of the some part of the of these of these shapes that is now i'll need you to format this to be have a white bag uh, a white fill and then no outline so i'll bring this forward this shape that we had so i'll click on it and then bring to the front and then i'll move this shape a bit downwards until I get there so as you can see it's more of a 3d right now but it's more of to the inside so you need to have highlighted all of them using the control you press you click on one and then you press the control on your keyboard then I think that's the thing maybe you need to pull them up a bit mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we, we pull this up to maybe they are too high. They are too high, maybe we can move them a bit lower. Sorry. We can move them a bit lower. Yeah, maybe there. Then we make it that way. So what I'll need now maybe to insert the 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 text box where you can or maybe we cut we cut this off for them not to be left hanging but i'll show you how to save it at a, as a picture 
and instead of uh, leaving it at that and click on this then that you can and subtract uh, move a bit high we insert another rectangle oh, I'm sorry that's not a rectangle we insert a rectangle then you pull it up a bit then you click on that that and then you subtract so we can now insert the text box here maybe write a company company logo what's gonna be correct that maybe More control z increase the font then you change the font style maybe you can do it on very good bit take it there then you can slide this to here maybe duplicate this again sorry duplicate this bring it here <laughs> the company name should be here now somewhere there but make it a bit bigger than this and then you may duplicate this again you put it aside maybe you write here the maybe certificate of like maybe completion maybe make it more cups certificate of completion 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 we make it a uh, cup so maybe you read it that way you can change the font if you want then we can duplicate this to control D come here you make this to be maybe you, you want it to be the body you're gonna write all your stuff like maybe uh, just assume you're typing Compensation in graphic design. Graphic design and that. And this is the body. And then can place it maybe there. This is the company logo. Maybe we can sit inside a shape too. Sure. Uh, change the color like that and outline the outline. Maybe that way. Yeah, control D again. But the, all these you can change to be have different font styles. They're going to be more. Maybe you say there is the train trainer signature. Should be here. A bit bigger. Duplicate this. I'm sorry. I need you to duplicate this again. Bring it to the other side. Go and set the image. Then you say maybe director. I'm gonna sign there. Then you insert some shapes. Now I can make them maybe yellow. You move them a bit down. You duplicate that only to bring together some. And maybe there. I'm just assuming these are sample of it. Sample of it. 
Yeah, maybe that to be to make it more wordy. So that's simply how to make uh, a template for your certificate. Maybe you want to create certificates for maybe your company one time. So that's the way. So you're gonna need to come to file here, then save us, and then browse. Or maybe I'll give you the shortcut for that. You just press F12 on your keyboard. It's gonna take you direct to that. This time you save it as a PNG or JPEG. But I like saving it as a PNG. Maybe we'll save it on the mm -hmm, desktop. We save it here. Maybe as a trial. Then we save it. Just this one. And then you me go to your desktop. You will find it here. Don't click on it to open. We see our template. So this is our template now. It's non editable now. So this you can print it this and then for them to sign. So that's the way. Thank you.